The Detroit Lions have a huge game tonight against the Las Vegas Raiders. The first home game since the 8th when we faced the Carolina Panthers. I was at that game. Wish I was going tonight, but unfortunately I was unable to afford $200 tickets. They do have standing room only tickets for about $150. But today's going to be a, a big game as the Detroit Lions will be off next week and then go into uh, SoFi for the uh, Charger game. It will be cheaper for me to go to the Charger game when it comes to ticket prices. But what to expect today? That's the point of today's early video. What to expect with the Detroit Lions as the trade deadline approaches. And that is for today, nothing's going to happen. I would be blown back if the Detroit Lions made a move for anyone today. Brad Holmes and his focus, he's working behind the scenes, expect something to happen tomorrow. But his focus is going to be uh, solely to keep his team focused on today's game because it is extremely important. So I would not expect any trade news to come out today. Don't forget that we traded TJ Hawkinson the day of the trade deadline. It was long before the trade deadline. It was I want to say it was about 12 or 1 o'clock noon. We traded, uh, traded away TJ Hawkinson. So what do I expect is for nothing to happen at all today because Brad wants to keep Dan and the team focused on the game against the Raiders because this game is huge Today We talked about yesterday the uh, Detroit Lions being bumped down to the third seed because the Seattle Seahawks are now 5-2 and two, and the Seahawks break, hold the tiebreaker against the Detroit Lions via head-to-head. -head. So that's, that's the Seahawks just got our number, man, a bane in our side. But with a win today, the Detroit Lions will move back up to the second seed and they would at least go to the bye week with the second seed. Now, yesterday I, I thought that the Eagles went into the bye week because of what the playoff pitcher said from the NFL, but no, they play the Dallas Cowboys this this week coming up, which is going to be a huge game for both teams. So the Detroit Lions are in a good position today, but they got to take care of business. They have to take care of business. But what could happen tomorrow? We've talked about, I did see, uh, shout out to my guy, Rocked On Detroit Lions. I did see that Miles Garrett video. That would be outstanding if we could somehow get Miles Garrett. You're talking about a game record, game changer. This guy would make Aiden Hutchinson look small. That's how that would be. And I also would not put pass. I'm not, I don't think they're going to do this, but I would not put pass, uh, potentially parting ways with Teddy Bridgewater as well. I mentioned that yesterday, got reamed in the comment section. If anybody is for a backup quarterback, it is me. I've been screaming about a substantial backup quarterback since I've been on this platform, which has been 2019. And surprisingly, it was Teddy Bridgewater to begin with as I started my journey on YouTube. But the reality is this. We drafted Hendon Hooker before Teddy was on this team. Hendon is just I believe he's going to be activated very soon. And if you, we, the Lions do not have a fourth round pick. If the Detroit, if the Minnesota Vikings offered a fourth round pick for Teddy Bridgewater, the Detroit Lions would have to take it. We would just, we would have to take it, especially seeing as how we could be giving up some capital at the trade deadline. Hendon is on, I'm sorry, Teddy Bridgewater is on a one year deal. Half the season is over. He's taken one or two snaps. If God forbid something happened to Jared Goff, our season would, would be pretty tough. It would be pretty tough to salvage depending on how long the injury was and with a guy like Teddy Bridgewater he could come and save the season we saw what happened with the New Orleans Saints when Dan Campbell was there he won five games with them uh, while Drew Brees was out but the, the reality is we have Hendon Hooker no we don't know what he can do in the NFL but we drafted him in the third round and a lot of you guys believe he's the future so why not put him in as the backup quarterback I'm just saying so if somebody offered me a fourth for Teddy Bridgewater I would have to seriously entertain it because we have him after today's game we have Teddy Bridgewater for nine more games. That's it. And then he is going to be a free agent. We're not going to resign him. Uh, that's how that's going to be. Now, as far as Hendon Hooker getting traded, I don't see the point with that at all. The only way I would trade Hendon Hooker is if somebody offered us a couple first round picks or something like that. Like we're going to have he's he drafted. We drafted him. We have him on a rookie deal. He's going to be our backup quarterback for at least three years. And that's the position that because because y'all got to remember, Teddy Bridgewater is not going to be on this team in 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 nine games after tonight. So. Why did we drive Hendon if we can't trust him to win a few games or not? So that's just where I would be. But as far as trading Hendon Hooker, I don't think that that's going to happen uh, without some massive first round picks or something like that. That would just be dumb for the Lions to do because after this year, Teddy will no longer be on this team. So what to expect for the Detroit Lions today? Nothing. 
nothing. The focus will be on the game tonight. However, tomorrow is going to be a huge day. I suggest that you wake up whatever time you get up and stay glued to your phone uh, from Adam Schefter, from Ian Rappaport, from Tom Pelissero, from Mike Garofalo, and from your favorite Detroit Lions YouTuber, which would be me. I will be home all day. Here's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to be ready to break any news that the Detroit Lions make. And and I know that a lot of people are on the fence. A lot of people are are they're reserved. They don't want to admit that they the Detroit Lions are going to make a move. And a lot the argument has been that Brad has not done anything in his tenure here. And I, I want to remind you that Brad Holmes has not had any. His hands have been tied. And a lot of times, if you follow. You can follow patterns, but you also have to remember how aggressive he was. He actually tried to get Aaron Donald as part of the trade. He tried to trade for Jalen Ramsey. He tried to trade. He wanted to trade for Debo Samuel. So our general manager has that aggressiveness in him. He traded up to get Jamison Williams. He, he traded back to have more capital for Jameer Gibbs, right? So we just haven't been able to see it because Brad Holmes' hands have been tied. If you think about the, the first draft that he had, Matt Patricia, he left us with five draft picks. Five draft picks. He gave one up for trading for Everson Griffin for a loner, which left us with five draft picks. Brad Holmes flipped those five into seven, and one of those draft picks was Amon St. Brown, right? So we, our general manager, has not had time or the assets to really be buyers. The first year, he was working with scraps, no money, no draft picks, couldn't do much. The second year, we go into a little bit better. This year, we're going into something better. And next year, we're projected to have somewhere between 65 and 70 million in cap space. Now, right now, we have about 7 million. Um, something would have to happen as far as some cap space. But if we get a guy like Chase Young, I think he's only making like four or five million dollars this year. So this thing could genuinely happen. But what to expect today? Nothing. The focus will be on today's game. But tomorrow it's going to be a fast paced, quick moving day. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to get you those videos. And right after the news breaks and I will make that video, look for a, an immediate live stream as we discuss the trade uh, move happening. I would be shocked if Brad Holmes doesn't make a move. I honestly would be shocked and disappointed because we have an opportunity and, uh, you know, no shade to Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings. Don't want to wish injury upon anyone, but the Minnesota Vikings were gaining momentum. They were our biggest threat. The Green Bay Packers are terrible. And even with Justin Fields, the Chicago Bills Bears are horrific. So it's really going to be our division to lose. I mean, Minnesota, unless they make a move, they're, they're going to be in a hard time to win a game. It really is. So, this has now become, I hate to say it, but not to be ahead of myself, but this is our division guarantee. There's no reason as long as our quarterback stays healthy and we have a reliable backup, right, which to me will be either Teddy or Hendon, this is our division to lose. So I'm just going to guarantee it. I was guaranteeing it before uh, Kirk got hurt, but we win the division easy, hands down easy uh, by a, a landslide because there's no way. The North is so terrible that just like last year, only one team will make it to the playoff picture. So anyway, that's my thoughts. Expect the focus to be on the game this this evening. But tomorrow, um, if you get up for work at 6, get up, have your coffee, man, and get ready because it's going to be a whirlwind of a day. But I expect the move to fully be made. Brad no, Brad Holmes knows what he has. He knows the opportunity. I mean, we're going to talk about it in a later video, but he knows the opportunity that he has right now. And you can't squander opportunities. And today, this is the first year that he's been in a position to make to be a buyer. So who will it be? You guys know my thought. Um, it could be somebody completely off the radar or somebody we've been pegging to the Detroit Lions for months now. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good day. We're going to get that W tonight, and we're going to go into the trade land, trade deadline, make a move, and, and be ready to to make this push, man, toward the the, the, the NFC playoffs. That's really – we. I mean, we're trying to host this thing. So you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Good morning to all.